Hey guys, it's been a while, but um, just wanna let you know. So I just got back from a trip that I took to Roseville, California, and I was there about a week and just, I was able to see firsthand how those fires have been devastating the area. You know, when I got there, one of the first things I noticed was just all the smoke in the air. You couldn't escape it. Uh, here's a picture real quick of that. And uh, it's like when you go outside, you, you have to have a mask, not even just because of COVID. It's just because it's hard to breathe. The air there is so bad due to all these fires and everything that's going on. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna run, jump over to a clip that I took while I was there and I'll discuss it real quick. The sky, the sky here in Roswell is just so black. It's about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And it's so shady. Like if you look out into the horizon, like somewhere from somewhere high, it's like you can't see far ahead. There's so much smoke in the air. And if you hold out your hand long enough outside, it's like you'll see little bits of ash coming down as just from all these wildfires and I'm about an hour hour and a half or so away from actually where the fires are there was a fire in Sacramento which is about 45 to an hour from here but this is insane just from walking outside you need a mask here not just from COVID just to kind of help with the bad air and it's as you're walking around and everywhere you go the air has this distinct smell of um, kind of like barbecue or barbecue smoke or something I mean like I said, I'm an hour away from the fire. I mean, it's pretty insane. And then, um, and then the next morning after I woke up, there was actually like this, like when we were driving away, there was this smoke. And it was like, you could see the smoke that was, it was covering everything. It was just like this mist of smoke all over the neighborhood and all over the streets. I, got I don't know how well it's coming through on video, but there was like a smog over all of this California area and it's really really bad it's it's I can't get over this it's like there's a haze in the air just from these wildfires and I haven't even seen the fires personally but I know they're close right after I shot that clip I looked up at the sky and the sun even looked Now that was because of all the smoke and everything that was in the air. And later that day, uh, we were heading over to Ikea and the ground is so dry and the fires in the Sacramento area were already more or less contained by the time we got there. But right by the interstate, we rolled up on this massive roaring fire, a big wall of flame. And it looked like to us, I have no proof of this, but it looked like somebody threw something out of their car, maybe a cigarette or something, and just lit up that one area because it was isolated right there in that one spot. I mean, things are so dry there right now, it doesn't take anything to start a fire. And the next day it was when I flew home and just the last little bit of footage that I took, I filmed when we were taking off. It was very, very bad conditions the day that I left. And you can see all the smoke and the sun has this really eerie shade of red. Like when you see the sun, that's, that's the sun, that ball of red that you'll see in the picture. And I filmed going up into the smoke in the airplane and when we got above it, it was absolutely unreal. And you can actually, I have a picture of some mountains that were actually sticking up above the smoke once we get up to cruising altitude. It's like smoke and then blue sky. I mean, it's insane. video uh thank you for watching and just keep everybody in california in your prayers right now and just pray that everything gets solved soon with everything going on let's just let's all work together and try and fix things and make the world a better place anyway guys thank you so much for watching like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one